guys welcome back to series where we are discussing last 3 years uh, board papers from the year 2014 15 and 16 for the subject data warehouse that is tybacit semester 6 uh, now we are already done discussing all the question which it basically asked in this 3 previous years paper based on unit 1 now we'll start discussing with unit 2 so as you can see in this particular lecture we are going to discuss this particular three question so first is as you can see which is asked in 2014 paper what is listener what are procedures to create a listener what does listener do in oracle the same way same question asked in 2015 what is listener how is it configured um, i uh, forgot to mention the year it might be in 2014 or 16 Uh, then uh, in our next particular question we are what we are going to discuss these are the three question which i have listed out here first is name and define utility that has been configured before creating an oracle database which is asked in 2016 now uh, in 2016 they asked a question in two parts so this is the first part this is something which we have to write and then this is the second part draw a neat diagram that illustrate various components of oracle warehouse builder now remember oracle warehouse builder one of the most important topic or you can say one of the most favorite topic so most of time in university exam they always ask such questions so as you can see in 2016 they asked on oracle warehouse builder same way on 2014 also there is a question on the same and 2016 also there is a question on oracle warehouse builder so it is very important to study the same thing in a very 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 proper manner so let's start discussing this five question so practically first we'll discuss how to configure a listener what are the steps we need to follow because the same steps we need to write in uh, theory exam as well so remember uh, something when you are reading for this particular subject it is very important that you should remember or you should first practice uh, on a practical basis then only it gets very easy to remember each and every step so let's start configuring a listener so how to configure a listener so for that reason we have to go to first oracle uh, 11g basically i am using uh, oracle's 11g then we have to click on net configuration assistant as soon as we click on that you will find screen which ask us whether you want to configure a listener or not yes click on the, uh, next then as you can see we have to click on add a new listener if you want to delete you can cl uh, click here so basically what we are doing we are going to create a listener remember so whenever some remote re request uh, from a client comes to server side so uh, who's going to basically serve or who's going to listen those uh, clients request for uh, any xyz type of a data listener basically listens the same so let's add a listener as you can see i have already uh, we have already one listener present on our system so what we are going to do we are going to create a new listener so i'll just make it listener 1 and then click on next here it basically chooses a uh, as you can see it basically chooses a protocol so uh, keep the protocol same that is tcp only click next here basically it chooses a port number so our by default port number for listener is 1521 then click on next now it is again asking uh, would you like to configure another listener no we don't we need to configure another listener we are done with that so just click on next as soon as we click on next it will show us or comes with a new window uh, my system is working bit slow so here as you can see now we have multiple uh, listeners on our system so it will just uh, give us a list or drop down list from where we can select any one listener from multiple listener which are uh, which are present on our system so by default we are going to work with the latest listener only so click on next uh, it will just take a bit time as soon as we click on next as you can see here our listener configuration is completed so just click on next and it gives us a option of finish so this is the answer for our unit 2 question 1 so let's discuss it now theoretically so now gets it's, it's very easy for each and every one of us to write these steps how to configure a listener so as you can see these are the two question which are already asked so first we'll discuss about definition of a listener so as you can see oracle all network connection are done through listener remember all network connections are done through listener this is the one of the most important point the listener is named uh, processes which runs on oracle server 
the listener process runs constantly in background on database server computers awaiting for request which comes from clients that is the one of the most important part it basically listens or waiting for requests which are coming from a clients and it helps those clients to connect to oracle database at it receives connection requests from a client and manages the traffic it also helps to manage the traffic to this request of database server so as you can see i have listed out few broad points here which we are going to discuss now so the one of the most important part as you can see uh, how to configure a listener first we have to run net configuration assistant to configure a listener as you can see you can uh, also add this type of a diagram so this is our client this is a listener which basically uh, redirect our request to server and this server in turn then redirect the request to database server i hope this particular point is clear so let's just discuss the same in step 1 what we need to do just select a configuration screen option where we are going to uh, do our work so as you can see first we have to select a welcome screen uh, then click on next then second screen allows us to add configure delete or rename the listener then we need to uh, click on choose add uh, from the given option we have to click on a new listener then click next then third screen where it basically ask uh, default listener is listener one remember in our practical uh in a pre, uh, practical part which we have just discussed now uh, we have a by default listener which was listener so it uh, oracle was not allowing us to configure second listener with the same name so we just change the name from listener to listener one so here also as you can see by default we have a name that is listener so what we are going to do we are going to add a new name for the same then in a fourth screen it basically ask for tcp ip uh, sorry tcp protocol tcp stands for transmission control protocol and uh, tcp is a standard communication protocol for internet most local network so basically remember one thing uh, tcp uh, basically it work uh, helps us to transmission remember transmission of our data or of the basically the request uh, requested data it helps us to transmission of those particular requested data then we need to select a protocol so by default we have selected tcp only we are not going to change it then in our fourth and final screen tcp ip port number is displayed as we know our port number is 1521 and then we just need to click on next and our listener configuration is finished so i hope this particular answer is clear to you now let's start discussing the next part that is uh, next uh, next particular question is where we need to discuss about oracle warehouse builder remember this question is asked three times in exam so first let's uh, let's just discuss a question which is asked in the year 2016 they have asked this particular question in two parts in first part they have asked for name and define the utility that has been configured before creating an oracle database so which configuration uh, which utility we required uh, before creating a uh, oracle database so what we need to do we need to configure listener remember this is our answer so as you can see again we have to write what is listener and some definition that listener is the utility that runs constantly in background on database server listening client connection request to the database handling them it is installed either before or after creation of a database this is our answer remember and we already discussed about listener so you uh, i hope uh, you are uh, very comfortable writing the same thing about listener as well now we'll discuss the main part of this particular question that is a second part where we have to draw a neat diagram that illustrate various components of oracle warehouse builder or in 2014 also they asked the same thing uh, same thing where uh, they have asked to uh, display or explain uh, draw and explain the architecture of oracle warehouse builder with suitable example and 2015 also the same type of a question is asked so these are the if you don't remember anything at least you can just uh, remember this many points and uh, try to uh, explain this many points so as you can see client side we have two things design center and repository browser on uh, server side we have three things that is control center service repository and target schema so let's just discuss one by one so as you can see i have uh, listed out a diagram here so in client side we have control center manager design center repository browser these are the two things and on server side we have multiple things as you can see oracle database this is our oracle database where we have this uh, target schema um, i have listed out uh, or uh, you you will find many different points here 
so you can just directly elaborate this points and uh, that will uh, uh, that can uh, help you to write uh, a better answer if you don't remember uh, most of theoretical part of this so as you can see uh, target schema what we are going to do we are going to generate code dimension cubes table views mapping packages to ex execute etl process that is extract transform and load uh, how we are going to connect to this with the help of uh, some repository browser here we have some workspace that is design metadata metadata helps us to identify a huge amount of data we uh, huge amount of data is basically present on data warehouse so uh, basically uh, on uh, this metadata we keep information about our data only and then we have control center then uh, language setting and same way we uh, this is the whole part which is called as warehouse builder repository that in turn uh, we help uh, this particular part is deployed on target schema so basically from source we are sending some data on a target schema so these are the broad uh, diagram which we have to draw in exam so if you are not be able to remember all uh, such small points at least try to remember the bold points that is this is workspace this is warehouse builder and uh, above we have this target schema so I hope this is very simple diagram. If you just uh, practice it for two, three times, you can easily remember it. Now let's discuss the theoretical, uh, theoretical part. So one by one we'll discuss. So what is design center? It is a visual representation through which we can design, monitor, schedule or deploy, or we can also perform ETL task. That is extract, transform and load, extract data from a source, transform it into suitable uh, format and then load it into our target schema. Then we have control center manager. So as you can see, it resides in design center from which users can deploy and execute ETL processes. Now it, it is comprehensive deployment console that enables user to monitor all aspects of deployment. Deployment means sending data from source to target. That is what we mean by deployment. Then we have target schema. So what is the purpose of target or target schema or database? Uh, what do you mean by uh, a schema or a database schema means uh, database means basically a set of tables as we know what is database collection of tables so we have uh, one uh, database called as college database where we have multiple tables related to different categories uh, some tables are related with uh, student uh, uh, database some are related with professor uh, professors database some are related with some finances uh, non-teaching staff so all this type of a detail is present on our database so out of this if I select only some specific uh, a table related to any specific category for example student so that type of uh, uh, collection of table is called as schema remember so here we have target schema where a user can load data and objects that are designed by design center such as cubes dimensions what we mean by dimension dimension means uh, suppose if I want to book a movie ticket then we need to consider multiple dimensions like uh, on which date which uh, what time which place and which movie so these are the four dimension and if we collect those four dimension then that creates a cube so cube is collection of dimension views as we know uh, views is mirror image of our original table and uh, we can also basically map our source data to target data so whatever changes we make in uh, source data that auto automatically gets reflected on a target schema so this is how we basically work or we can load source uh, data into target database or target schema so it contains oracle warehouse builder components such as we can enable etl mapping uh, to access the audit service packages in repository warehouse builder that stores execution and deployment uh, it basically uh, helps us to execute our queries and for deployment purpose as well we can do the uh, use this particular part so it is not a part of oracle warehouse builder but it is a component of oracle database remember this particular uh, creating uh, basically enabling etl mapping so this ETL mapping is not a part of Oracle Warehouse Builder, but it is a basically component of Oracle database or any other database. User can associate multiple target schema with single uh, Warehouse Builder repository. So here we are done with this particular part. Now let's just discuss about Oracle Warehouse Builder repository. What do you mean by this? Repository, 
basically repository means a, a place where we stores our metadata definition as i said in data warehouse we have huge huge amount of a data so to easily identify each and every data we keep or we create data for those particular data which is called as metadata so here we can store definition of our metadata for all the source target and etl processes that means source means data uh, a particular database or data which we are going to fetch or extract the same way where we are going to load those particular data that is target so here also we are going to create metadata definition for this target module as well as when we are extracting transforming and loading so that time also we need this metadata definitions or metadata modules so we, these are the mainly part of design metadata it also stores runtime data generated by control center service and control center manager and it basically repository assistant helps us to configure repository database i hope this particular point is clear now what we mean by a workspace remember it is very simple where we work that is called as workspace so in most simple word we just need to write workspace means a place or a space where we can work so what we are going to work obviously if we are talking about data warehouse then what we are going to do we are going to work with oracle warehouse builder here where we are going to create some workspace for easier and faster access deployment testing and production of our data warehouse or uh, we can create dimension cubes whatever so where we are going to create this or where we are going to work for our uh, uh, creation of uh, dimensions creation of tables uh, creation of uh, some other mappings or something that is we are going to create on a workspace so as you can see repository assistant this is the main important body which helps us to manage existing workspace and create a new one so let's discuss about a repository browser so as we know repository means it is a collection of metadata definition so what we mean by a browser browser basically helps us to browse something so we have huge collection of metadata definition huge collection of our data which is present there so just to browse some required information from there we use a repository browser it provides a web browser interface for monitoring and reporting repository remember using this repository browser we can view metadata at the same time audit runtime operations auditing means checking continuously evaluating runtime so whatever queries we are executing right now we can just monitor that as well and we can also create reports for it and we can also perform impact analysis and view control specific and design specific information i hope this particular point is clear and the next part is control center services so as you can see it is a part of a server that is control center services where we register our source and target databases locations so here we are going to register our source and target uh, warehouse uh, sorry target database location remember it also provides deployment as we know deployment means sending our data from source to target and basically executing uh, firing some queries at the same time etl logic so this is the same thing which we already discussed so i hope this all this particular question is uh, clear to you uh, remember one thing this particular question plays very important role so if you uh, per, uh, if you practice this question properly then uh, you can assume uh, five marks as well because it is continuously consistently asked by university for last 3 years so oracle warehouse builder plays very important role so i hope this particular point is clear and as uh, as we already know you can download uh, the same lecture slides uh, uh, you will find a uh, download link in video description section where from where you can just download the same notes so let's continue our discussion from next lecture thank you